The controversy has erupted over Ford advertising, specifically ads targeted to gay and lesbian car buyers. Ellie Velci standing by in New York with the bottom line. What's going on, Ellie? Hey, Wolf, we spoke to Ford Motor Company, who says it's committed to diversity in the workplace and in the marketplace, but acting on that commitment gave the company some controversy with uh, anti-gay groups, and then trying to quell that controversy landed Ford in trouble with gay rights groups. It was another one of those damned if you do situations. Ford took out ads cheering its gay employees for their good work. It donated money to gay causes. And its Jaguar, Land Rover, and Volvo divisions even targeted gay car buyers worldwide with provocative ads like these. That drew fire from the conservative American Family Association. They asked their members to boycott Ford. Inform them you will not be buying a Ford product until they stop their promotion of the homosexual movement and homosexual marriage. Ford was in a fix. Either alienate the self-proclaimed family values group with these ads, or turn its back on credit card carrying gay customers. In a letter to its gay employees, Ford said it would deep six the gay friendly ads for Jaguar and Land Rover, but not for Volvo. Decisions on where Ford's brands advertise are made for business reasons, not as a social statement one way or another, Ford said. Ford told CNN its commitment to diversity remains unchanged. Mike Wilkie's commercial closet project tracks gay-themed advertising. He says the gay market is lucrative. Overall buying power for the market is roughly $610 billion dollars and uh, a market somewhere between 14 and 22 million people. The American Family Association met with Ford and says the decision is the right step. While we still have a few differences with Ford, we feel that our concerns are being addressed in good faith and will continue to be addressed in the future. Gay organizations have demanded their own meeting with Ford, calling the ad dust up another form of bigotry. Well, it does seem like another attempt by an anti-gay organization to intimidate corporate America into not supporting or not doing business with gays and lesbians. And we know that's just plain wrong. Now, that was Glenda Testone. Her group got a $50,000 donation from Wells Fargo in an unrelated story. Wells Fargo donates about $2 million a year to gay and lesbian organizations. And because of those donations, Another conservative group, Focus on the Family, has stopped doing business with Wells Fargo. Wolf? All right, Dolly, thanks very much. Very interesting indeed. The Ford uh, advertising story surfaced in the mainstream media largely because of the online community and the, that got hold of that story. Now they're doing much more than spreading the word, chasing down the story for us. Our internet reporter, Jackie Scheitner. Jackie? Well, really good example on how something pops up online, and not only do they consider it news, they then push it forward. John Aravosis at America Blog, it's a big liberal blog, that focused very often on gay civil rights issues, found the story online, pushed it forward. Other liberal bloggers like Atrios and the Huffington Post picked it up. These are websites that have hundreds of thousands of readers. But it wasn't just making news. America Blog decided to take it one step further. They've got action items. They and their readers are uh, flooding the email inboxes. They are calling executives at Ford. And I got to tell you, Wolf, this is a company that should take notice. We're seeing many corporations that are now monitoring blogs so that they don't get in trouble with people online. Thanks very much, Jackie, uh, for the